All right, now it's time to find some sounds. Here are some websites that will be very helpful. These websites will be listed below. All right, so here we are in one, I'm gonna go through the links that I provided, just kind of showing you the website. It is so important when you're designing sound as far as music and creating atmosphere, you wanna think about picking stuff that isn't well known. That way your audience isn't thinking, where do I know that song? So they're actually paying attention to what's going on. It shouldn't, the music you choose should enhance what you're doing. All right, so this one in Comp Tech, if you go down here for a full search, click on it. You can click by mood or topic or genre or length, all the above you can narrow it down by multiple search. So let's say I wanted something sad. Great. I'm gonna scroll down here and these are some of the things. And you can see like here it says like contemporary, cinematic. So I'm gonna play this for a second. You can get a little. I don't know how it's sad, but that's, you know, this is somebody labeled it. Um. This may sound familiar. A lot of silent movies use that. So, whatever song you like, you can click over here. You can get an extended license or a a less ex uh, extended license. Just means you got to pay money, but you can get a free license for whatever it is. It tells you what it allows. So, like, you could use this commercially. You could download it as an MP3 only. Now, if you want to convert it to a wave, you can do that on your own. But, like, I can choose the free license. I can read the conditions. I agree the terms of condition. And then I've got to download it. All right. We're going to come back to this second. So, that's our first place where you can find a bunch of music. The next is Bin Sound, which is one of my favorites. But we're going to pause. Link two is to Ben Sound, specifically royalty free music. Again, I'm trying to find things that are royalty or um, copyright free so that I'm free to use it however I want. So you can see a whole bunch of things. You can look like through acoustics, folk mu music. You can find things that are cinematic. I always say cinematic is really great, especially for theater, because it's going to give you a better idea cinematic like for movies. Same for theater. So you can, there are some that you have to pay for and some you don't. So like here's a slow motion one. If I like it, I don't like it, keep scrolling. Here's a shorter one called Piano Moment. Sounds nice. I'll click download. It will ask you, do you want the free license or the pro? Can, for our for using it, I would say just go with the free one. There's no audiobook. We're not using this for a podcast. We're not. We're just using it for a show. And I click download. And I'm good. Now, what I would suggest is also whatever page, like so I click on this, like I wanna like try and remember where I got everything. So you can always click info and take you to the page. It tells you who the composer is. And the if there's a copyright, well, that's for the image, but um, it gives you more information when you click on it. But that has been sound. So, moving on to the third one, Jimendo. So, this one I don't use as much, but it does have some things. You can upload even your own music if kids have their own. You can scroll through all the long day and try to find. So like here I might go to explore and it may take a minute. So you can see like it has different genres, all kinds of stuff. Best of the month. You could you can look for a bunch of music. It's the same kind of thing. We're going to go on to the next one which I think is a little bit more interesting which is this audio macro you can 
look for ambient noise. There's a bunch of stuff, loops, loop packs, metal, all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna look for some ambient. Right. So some of this costs money. Sometimes you can get it for free, sometimes you can't. So this, this one's kind of hit or miss. All right, then I'm gonna go over, actually change this to SoundCloud. SoundCloud, your kids may be familiar. A lot of people start their music out through SoundCloud. And this, you can get an account, it is free, but again, you literally can find a lot of stuff for free in different places. But there's some of the first couple links. Now, let me talk to you about sound effects. This website, Free Sound, you can log in, you see my logins up there. You can create sound, but you can find the most amazing sound. So like, I'll say I needed some cats. These are all people who have made sounds. So like, here's someone with a cat meow. <coughs> you need a ringtone of tripping cats. <coughs> Someone's made it. You need door slam. Here's a wooden one. The door open. So, there's sounds for everything here. One of the best places. It's Creative Commons Sound. It's so easy to use. I hope this helps. Alright. So, maybe you think YouTube is the best place to find sound. And you can find a lot of great sound. The biggest thing is, you never want to play music straight from YouTube. Sometimes you're gonna not have internet connection. Sometimes there's ads. Sometimes you're just playing music one right after, or video after the other, which you never know what might pop up. So use YouTube, but use it wisely. Now, one of my favorite people that I use sound for, I have found on YouTube. This guy, Ross Bugden, he has a bunch of copyright and royalty-free music. So, um, it's very important to try and find copyright and royalty-free because it's ethical. You are following the legal guidelines as long as you give credit to who you need to give credit to. So, Ross Bugden is someone that I like. If I click down, you find a video that says copyright royalty-free. So, let, let me go back to YouTube and help you search this. So let's say, like, m uh, creep, creep, creepy, sorry, music copyright free. If you just type in things like that, you're going to find music that will most likely, no copyright music goes royalty free scare music. So you can click on it. <laughs> Maybe scroll down, Slow Creepy Scary by Tim, Royalty Free Music. You might be able to go to a website where you can <laughs> subscribe. You may be, they may take you to links. They may take you to a place where you could download it. So let me show you again on one of my favorites. So as I click down his description, it gives me information about it tells me like it, I'm free to use the music he just you know maybe if you can donate donate you can um, contact him then he talks about Creative Commons Attribution International License so basically this is a license here that gives you creative free use to use it and as long as you attribute so, like, anytime I use this guy's music, I make sure I put his name in the program as music, or I put it in my document. One of the best things about him is that he has a downloadable link where I can download it as a wave. So, I can download this as a wave and put it into my music. You always, again, want to download. You don't want to play off of YouTube. YouTube is helpful for finding music, but you need to make it into a wave or an mp3 so that you can then use it in a program. Alright, I hope this helps.